First Samuel chapter 15, verse 27 to 29. As Samuel turned to leave, Saul grabbed at his priestly robe and a piece tore off. Samuel said, God has just now torn the kingdom from you and handed it over to your neighbor, a better man than you are. I'm pointing out three things here when it comes to asking for God for forgiveness. Saul was chosen by God. He was sent to destroy a town and everything there. He took part of their cows. He said they were bigger than the ones they had in Israel. And then he wanted to crossbreed them. That was what he did. He used his own understanding instead of obeying God's rule to destroy everything in that country. Hallelujah. And then once he came back home, he was asking for forgiveness. And the way he did it was to hold on to Samuel's uh, robe. But you know, the prophet was walking around, walking away. Once he grabbed the rope, the thing he tore. And then somebody said, God has just torn your kingdom from you and he will give it to a man, to your neighbor, a better man than you. Who did God give that to? David. In all sincerity, was David better? <laughs> Hallelujah. That is what is called mercy. You see, when we say, God help me, that's what it means. We can preach all we want. We can tell you all strategies. But you see, that mercy is what is really, really, really called help. If God is saying, I will remove you from this throne and tear away your kingdom because you took something away from somewhere, maybe you should have even returned it after. I don't know what men think. If I carry something come and I'm suffering for it, I will go and return it back <laughs> and destroy it and come and ask for forgiveness again. But no, this is not by might, but by my spirit. So I'm going to give it to a neighbor that is a better man than you. The better man is killing another man, collecting their wife, and he's still known as better. Mercy, mercy. Everything in the world that you are looking for is mercy. Some of us we call it destiny, but it's mercy. If mercy answers for you, yes, the job you want, you will find, even in unknown places. The marriage you want, you will see. The life you want you see only if mercy can speak the difference between saul and david is mercy as a matter of fact if we are to choose as human beings saul is probably better than us. and i'm not saying i say as human being because uh, yeah, you can't change the bible i'm saying logically if you want to see based on how we usually see sin you mean i just told a lie i saw money in my husband's pocket and i took it uh, what's that one you see no my husband but somebody just gave a reason why he took the cows and sheep and all these rams from a, a, an unknown land that God asked you to destroy. And he said, we will cross this day to have a better one and we have better sacrifices. And I'm sure he had read the, they call it Wala in Yoruba. You know, if you read about Abel and Cain, when Cain's uh, sacrifice was not as good, maybe he's thinking, okay, now we can actually give a better sacrifice if we have better cows. And God and Jagbajanti's made God deal with him and tore away what we call his kingdom and gave it to his neighbor. Mercy, neighbor. Waiting neighbor do self. Come, come over past your own. But God she took it as this one is good. By your mercy, Lord, let me enjoy your help. I hope you are praying. By your mercy. It's only mercy that does all of this. By your mercy, Lord, let me enjoy your help. In the name of Jesus, let me enjoy your favor by your mercy. Let it please you, Lord, to have mercy on me. Let it please you, Lord, to have mercy on my family. In the name of Jesus, Lord, let it please you to have mercy on me. Let it please you to have mercy on my ministry. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mightiest name, we have prayed. Amen. Everybody.